What is up guys, this is Max Square, and in this video I'm showing you how you can bring your photos to life in After Effects by using this effect. So before we jump into this tutorial, I'm going to show you a few ways that you can use this effect to really bring your photos to life. And the way it works is by basically tracing out objects in your photos and then animating them in After Effects. So I've created a few examples here to show you different shapes as well as different ways you can animate it. And so I've chosen to highlight the hamburger on this plate and you can see that as I hit play, it just goes around circling that object indefinitely. So this shows you how you can continue just tracing out your object, but it also shows you how you can highlight circular objects in case your object is something round like a plate or some food. And the next example is showing more of a square object like this laptop. So again, this just goes around in a loop, but it's showing you how you can use this for square objects. And then lastly, I've taken a more complex scene and I've chosen to highlight the entire cityscape and the person on this ledge. Of course, this will take a little bit longer, but I think it's so worth it once you are finished. It adds so much to this photo, as you can see here, really draws you into the scene. So let's go ahead and create a new project. And I'm gonna create a new composition. You can call it whatever you want. I'm working at HD, which is 1920 by 1080, and my animation is going to be four seconds long. But if you wanted this to be something like a minute long, go ahead and change that. This is working in frames, seconds, minutes, and then hours. And so once you're done, just hit OK. And the next thing to do is bring in our photo. Now I tend to use Unsplash for most of my photos. I've mentioned this in previous videos. I'll put a link in the description if you wanna check this out. And this isn't sponsored, but they have tons of awesome photos that you can use for free for whatever project you want. So I'm gonna choose these little mountains in the ocean and go with that. Now we just need to choose the object we want to trace. So I wanna highlight the mountains here in the middle of the picture. So we're gonna hit G on our keyboard and before we add any points, let's just take a look and see if we're gonna have any rounded edges. The reason is because there's a tool called Roto Bezier in After Effects that will allow you to go around those objects and corners really smoothly, but once you have it enabled and you start, it's gonna leave it in that mode even if you disable it. So if you don't want these rounded corners, go ahead and turn it off before you start. So I'm gonna turn it off because the mountains are pretty jagged and we're not trying to keep any smooth corners. I'm just gonna zoom in by hitting Command Plus, hold down Spacebar so I can drag around the photo. And then I'm just gonna start at the bottom here and go through the whole picture. And so now I've finished tracing it. There's a couple things we can do just to smooth it out. So I'm gonna go down into the contents, go to shape, and then go to stroke. And I can choose to have the line cap go to a rounder cap so that when it's animating on, it's a smooth cap at the end. And I can also change the line join to round and that just helps a little bit to smooth things out. Now to begin animating it, we're gonna to go to this Add button and select Trim Paths. Now we're gonna go into those properties and I'm gonna to go to about 20 frames into the composition and select a keyframe for the end at 100%. Go to the beginning and set this to zero. And now if we play it back, it's animating on our object. Now you'll see that it's starting to trace the object right in the middle of the mountain, but I actually want it to start on the bottom right. So I'm gonna go to the offset parameter and I'm gonna drag this to the negatives until I see that end point go all the way to the bottom right where we want it. And now if we play it back, you'll see it actually starts from the bottom right and then animates over. Now, if you wanted it to go the other way, you would instead animate the start keyframes instead of the end and just flip those values. So to make this a little bit more interesting, I'm just gonna right click and select keyframe assistant and go to easy ease. And if you really want the animation to pop, you can select all of those keyframes, go to the graph editor and then select one of them and then just move this yellow handle over to the left or right but make sure you hold down shift so it doesn't change the value, it just changes the speed and velocity. So if we watch it back, you'll see it kind of pops on over. But I think it looks pretty nice by itself. Now, if you wanted the animation to loop, what you would do is set a start keyframe where your last keyframe for the end is, go over about 20 frames or so, and set this to 100%. You can easy ease those as well. And then what you wanna do is select the layer and hit Alt, right bracket, and that'll trim the layer to where your playhead is. And then you can hit Command D to duplicate the layer, hit left bracket, and that'll move the new layer to the right side of where your playhead is. And now as we watch this back, you'll see it just continues to loop. 
Now there's a few things we can do to change this animation. We can select the keyframes and go to the graph editor. We can select one of the keyframes and you'll notice this yellow line. And if we hold down shift, we can drag that in or out and that'll just make that animation a little bit more snappy and then it'll ease into the end keyframe. So you can kind of mirror that animation so it goes in and out really quickly, but it takes a long time in between. Another thing you can do is overlap the two sets of keyframes. So instead of having the start animate right on top of the end, we could take those two start keyframes and drag them over to the left so that the line kind of chases itself off. And you'll see what I mean when I play it back like so. Of course, if we leave a lot less room, you'll see that line gets a lot shorter and it animates a lot quicker. So that is pretty much the effect and you can do everything I just showed you inside of After Effects. But if you're finding it's really difficult to get a really precise trace, especially around corners and rounded edges, you may wanna bring this into Illustrator, trace the photo there, and then just bring it back into After Effects and animate there. So I've already done this in Illustrator and the process is the same. And once you're done, you can just drag in that AI file and you'll get this little pop-up. You wanna make sure you import it as footage and then select okay. Now we can actually open up the composition and you'll see it's exactly like the way you were looking at it in Illustrator, but the way you're actually gonna be able to animate it is by putting your stroke and outline on a separate layer. So I've done that with layer two, and once you bring it into AE, you're gonna right click and select create shapes from vector mask. Then After Effects will see that layer as if it were traced inside of After Effects itself, and so then you can add the trim pass and animate from there. So just before you guys go, be sure to check out the description and all the links below. There's actually a link in there that will allow you to download the project file that I worked on in this video. But anyway guys, that is it for this tutorial. I hope you all enjoyed. If so, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe. It just helps me know that you like the content and want to see more videos. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.